Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, we, might as well, we might as well start uh, in kind of the tone of the genre that I love and adore, the old game show. Good evening, everyone. Yeah. My name is Vernon Kay, and I'm the host of Family Fortunes. Uh, welcome uh, <laughs> to this evening. It really is uh, nice to see so many uh, people who are interested on how to get on uh, in telly, and we've got some fantastic guest speakers who are going to come on stage and give us their experiences of how they got on in TV. Oh, I had loads uh, of training to get into television. I was first a, a primary school caretaker. Uh, I also cleaned telephone boxes as well. So basically, the general. Uh, my general career path is I have had no training whatsoever uh, to do with television, which I think is a good thing for people watching this because if you, if you want to get into telly then there are certain doors that do open to yourself uh, which make the industry accessible to you. From a personal perspective, I just wish that I had this opportunity like you've got now to uh, talk to and get some info and kind of get under the skin of people who've been uh, successful in television. The way that I got into to television, I, I was quite lucky, uh, fortunate in that I had a friend who was setting up an actual TV channel and uh, they, would, they had a music show and the person who hosted this music show was sick one day and he phoned me up out of the blue when I was cleaning phone boxes in Manchester and he said, is there any chance you could come to the BBC studios because we need someone to just talk about the brand new U2 single? Uh, and I did, and then that was it. My name is Charlene White, I'm a news broadcaster for ITV News. All I wanted to do was to be that person in the middle who saw something happening in the world and then tell the world about it, basically. And I was doing work placements from the age of 16, and then did a degree in journalism at London College of Printing, which is now London College of Communications. Um, whilst I was there, I did a stint working as a features writer in New York as well, um, and that really cemented my well exactly what I wanted to do and that's to be that conduit between stories happening and actually telling it to people. I'm Alex Brooker, uh, I'm co-host for The Last Leg on Channel 4. Just do like comedy panel shows, basically I take every job that I'm offered. Channel 4 were looking for people to report at the Paralympics, they wanted people with a bit of media background, I was like I'm a journalist, they were disabled people, I was like well I massively tick that box <laughs> and I just thought well, there, can't be, there can't be that many of us knocking about. Someone with half a chance and so I applied and then that was it. <laughs> I was a journalist, I went to um, Liverpool John Moore's a journalism degree, then I was a football journalist and then I was employed by Channel 4 to be a reporter at the Paralympics, um, went on the last leg as it was at the Paralympics and now I do comedy, it's, it's like I never set out to get in comedy but that, that's what I do now which is amazing. My name is Sue Perkins and I'm a human being comprised of 50% carbon and 50% lemon drizzle. That's the way I work, is that I entirely improvise. So Bake Off, we know that there's a narrative where we have to come into a tent, lots of scared people are in the tent, we have to introduce Mary and Paul and then we have to go around and make everyone feel happy and that is it. So they don't even bother giving us cards. In the first series there was a card going, hello I'm Mel and hello I'm Sue. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I've had no formal training, I think I don't know that such a thing exists for what I do really but um, uh, I went to college and very fortunately bumped into someone I totally fell in love with in a, in a purely platonic sense and we formed a double act from there. Um, I, I suppose um, I studied literature and I always wanted to be a writer and I, I sort of think that you need something underpinning a desire to be a presenter and in my case it's the de desire to write. What about new talent, Holly? What do new people who want to get into tell you need to do to break down the door? I'm Holly Pye, I'm director at James Grant Media. Um, I represent presenters across the board, factual sports, entertainment. You've got to learn the skills and you've got to learn them somewhere where you're able to mess up and get things wrong. And there is an opportunity now. Um, there's a lot of talk about YouTube and th that's the new way. Um, I don't believe it's that easy. Getting into production and finding ways through that actually has been probably more successful for a lot of people. My name is Anna Richardson. I am a presenter, producer, journalist and writer. I actually started off in production first and then I got a break. So I was just, I was lucky, to be honest, very, very lucky. But I always had that focus and that's what I wanted to do. I found it very difficult breaking into television, actually. So I decided in the end, uh, after doing reams and reams of, of free work experience, uh, that I was going to do a postgrad. So I did a postgrad in journalism. And the minute I got that qualification, I absolutely flew and got into television straight away. So I found it very, very easy after I had that key journalistic qualification. I came 
here because I want to be a presenter. Um, I sometimes feel a bit nervous about it, but when you see a room full of really enthusiastic people, it just rubs up on you. For us starting out, it's fantastic to see you know all those different kind of people and ask the questions that we want to know uh, the answers to. Well, I like the fact that there was like diversity in what they all do, and I love the fact that there's people who actually work in the jobs that we want to get into, giving us the advice.